Okay, hanging out here with Mike Peters inside Harry Rose and also known as Santa Claus in this neck of the woods. It's time for the gift giving segment. We do it every year. You've got the whole display. Where, where are we going to start? Well, we're going to start off with that person who has a real pride with Vancouver because there's an artist named Gary Tixali who's designed uh, pocket squares for each of the major Canadian cities and little little pieces of art and slogan that are really uh, genuine to Vancouver. So just to give you some perspective, um, really neat uh, colors and, and a little bit more animated, a little bit more fun. He's got the rain in there. He's got everything about Vancouver is in your pocket square. You put that in your suit and people know you're proud of your city. Perfect for all the Calgary Flames fans out there too. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm sending it their way. I like that personal touch. And you know, we've talked about this before, the colors with the socks. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, I, you know, I said this was the norm now. It is definitely beyond the norm now. At Christmas time, uh, we, we've tripled our inventory in socks. And, and we've, we've even made them a little more playful. We've actually added about three or four more new collections in socks. I mean, there's just a ton to choose from. Robert Graham has examples. We've got Bugatti. We've got Etra. Um, every color, every style to match your significant other's personality. So if there isn't a pair of socks under the tree, you're missing out. Okay, socks are one. We've always talked about the ties, the pocket squares, and attention to detail with the outfits. Uh, the cufflinks, you guys always have some creative ideas here. What's happening in cufflinks, I guess the, the trend right now, is having the movable parts, the little mechanics, and uh, it's really cool. You'll see that in our uh, gift guide, we, we feature some cufflinks here that actually have movable parts, so you can wind them up and so while you're sitting at the desk and you're you know doing that three million dollar deal your cufflings are moving along at a, at a steady pace and this is a, a set that's in our gift guide which is a Harry Rosen gift guide which we send out to give people ideas on gifts um, this little set here is featured in that uh, magazine. Christmas party is good. Now we come down to the relationship aspect, the, the baby smooth look. Yeah, you know, this is something that's really gaining steam right now. We're, we're seeing a lot of people wanting to um, groom better and understand how to groom. About three months ago, one of the guys in the store uh, pulled me aside and said, Hey, Mike, you know, uh, do you use a disposable? How do you shave in the morning? I thought, you yeah, that's kind of a personal question, but I'll tell you, I use a disposable. He says, do you, The Lady you know, Bic, right? Yeah, the Lady Bic. That's what I'm using. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Nair. Yeah. We gotta move past that. Man. <laughs> so I said, you know, I, I I've never really. It's kind of a thing that I do, just like putting on deodorant in the morning. I don't really think of the art of it. And he goes, well, let me explain this to you. And he introduced me to this little bad boy here, which is the safety razor. And this is definitely not new. Uh, this is old school, but. It is amazing. I actually get up 20 minutes earlier now and I use the safety razor and along with the safety razor I, I use a bunch of different products. I use like a pre-shave oil and then I used uh, the, the old badger brush. You, you know you may have seen these in, in, in movies or James Bond. You I know, want to take those again, Mike. A little bit, yeah. You can get the softer ones for the more gentle faces. <laughs> oh, thank um, you. Badger brush uh, and then you get the shaving cream and you whip it up and then you can put it on. It's a whole process and I gotta tell you, I, if I have time, I love the process of shaving now and we're gonna close it out with a nice touch everybody likes a good slipper a nice relaxing feel at home yeah I mean you know we've got slippers for everyone you know here's your uh, your Thurston Howell the third uh, slipper with very a crest sexy. on it you know very sexy and you can uh, wear that while you're eating your gray poupon you know that whole, whole thing. or shaving with shaving with your straight razor experience. <laughs> and then there's the uber comfortable Uggs and this is my choice of slipper you know we have hardwood floors uh, at home and uh, you know around the winter time it gets a little bit chilly uh, put a pair of these on and you can walk around in that hardwood all day long. Super, super comfortable and a great Christmas gift. Who, who doesn't want a pair of comfortable slippers for Christmas? All kinds of great ideas right here. HarryRosen.com is the website. Uh, pick it up in store. Those